All right, well, hello yet again um, with yet another helmet. This time I've already taken it out of the box. Um, so yeah, let me just show it to you. Oops, there we go. So we have yet another M40. I seem to find all of the M40s right now for some reason. Um, and this is a bit more easy to see what happened to it. You can see it had a decal, but it was scraped off. See here. So it was a hair decal. Um, the overall condition of this helmet is really nice. Um, I found it on eBay for really quite cheap for what it is. I paid, including shipping and uh, some weird uh, Bundeswehr uh, folding spade or entrenching tool, whatever, um, 380 euros. So really quite nice for even this helmet. Um, so uh, yeah, what's also interesting about this one is uh, this air vent right here. It's kind of got the hole not quite in the middle. <laughs> so someone messed up in the factory, it seems. Anyway, let's just take a look at the general appearance of it. So yeah, it's in really quite nice condition. It's got a bit of rust coming through the paint because the paint is probably not that thick. Um, and yeah, it's uh, apart from the removed decal in completely untouched condition, which is what we like to see. It's certainly pretty dirty on the inside. Um, yeah, right here you can see it's got a size 59 liner. Um, it still has the chin strap, which is really nice. You can see it has steel, uh, painted steel parts. So it's a nice early to mid war. Oh, oh yeah. Something like that chin strap with a steel buckle, which has a really nice patina. I always like these um, painted steel pieces because the way uh, they have patina on them always looks pretty cool. Um, it's unmarked though, which is a bit sad, but you know, it's original, so whatever. Um, you can see right here, it is an NS66, so made by the Vereinigte Deutsche Dickelwerke AG, I think, uh, in, in Schwerte, uh, so in the Rhineland, so not too far from where I may be. Um, and it's got the lot number 6312. The 1 2 is nicely stamped, but the 6 3 is pretty faint. Um, yeah, overall, I mean, yeah, the liner is in really nice condition. The chin strap is too. It's still got the original drawstring, which is very nice. Uh, it doesn't have a name or anything in it, which is a bit sad, but uh, you know, whatever. It doesn't seem to have been used all that much anyway. I mean, the liner has some moderate wear but not too much you can always check by looking at the inside of these little uh, strengthening washer things and you can see they're not really that pulled through so this wasn't used that much uh, you can also see by the wear in on the top of the helmet there's not much <clears throat> the liner itself is a 1940 dated Schubert one, it's it's really hard to see, so I'm not going to bother trying to film in there. Um, but that's what it is. The split pins seem to be unmarked, but they're all still in well original configuration. They haven't been messed with or anything. So again, really quite nice. There we are. And it also has a dome stamp, but it's again really hard to get on the video because the liner is, well, the, the leather is too tightly, um, yeah, together. So uh, it's really hard to see, but uh, that's what it is. So um, yeah, let's put it back here. So yeah, I mean, Honestly, that's pretty much it about the video. The spade isn't that interesting. It's, like I said, just a uh, folding Bundeswehr one. So, yeah, it was included in the lot. So, <laughs> of course, I got that as well. But uh, maybe I'll just use it when I go metal detecting or something.
But yeah, this is it. Well, there's a bit of sunlight, so let's just put it in the sunlight so we can see what that looks like. Oh, that's nice. Certainly shows the paint better. Yeah. <laughs> According to the seller, it uh, has been in a cellar for well, probably the time after the war. So probably uh, among the first sunlight this helmet has ever seen in um, 80 years or something. So yeah, that's pretty much about it. It's a bit of a short video, but uh, I mean, why should I drag this on any longer? It's a helmet. It's pretty simple. It's in factory configuration apart from the removed decal so what else is there to say so i hope you enjoyed it and um well i'll see you next time bye